All right, guys. Hey, welcome to the video. And this one's going to be kind of a quick one just to show you guys who are familiar with using my KMZ GTA Ultra mods, um, how to properly update them to the newest 3.5 that I released uh, about a week ago or a week and a half ago or so. I've been wanting to do this video for a little bit, um, but yeah, I've just been way too busy. So this is going to be the simple one. Uh, it's assuming that you already know how to work everything with my um, ultra mods and how to do all of that. I'm not going to cover that. Probably later today or tomorrow, I will release a full detailed one showing you how to do everything from the beginning for those of you who are new to this and then the things you should, shouldn't be doing, how everything works and all of that stuff. So let's get on to the updating. All right. So again, this is for people really who already know how to use these mods, but um, there's just a couple of things I need to you know point out just just to make everything clear. Um, this is designed really for the folder uh, type backup of the game. It is designed really only for Bless because most of the menus there were designed for the Bless version of the game. Um, the game should reside in your internal hard drive of the PS3 in order to get the best results to be able to use everything here. So it should be in the dev HDD0 directory. And when you go into that, the, um, the backed up game should be in the games folder. The, um, the folder here named games should be like that, all in caps and with an S. <laughs> and then when you go in there, you will see the backed up version of the game. Again, this is for Bless 01807. And that folder of the game should be named exactly like this. It is case sensitive. Make sure the spaces are where they belong and make sure there is no space after this last bracket. Sometimes when you rename things in the PS, um, especially if you're doing it like through Multiman or something and you hit the start button, it will add a space and it's considered an entirely different file just because the space is there. And yeah, you're going to have some issues. So make sure that the space is not there after the bracket. Now, once you've done that, then you're going to uh, go into the game folder itself and you're going to want to delete the whole entire PS3 extra folder. So um, you would in this case, and I'm using the Mana Guns file manager, by the way, you would come here and select delete and then confirm the deletion. Now the PS3 takes a little bit of time to delete. Um, normally within about five seconds or so, you will see it'll start deleting uh, whatever it is. The best way to know when it's done is to look at the front of the PS3. You'll see a little, uh, the little light blinking that shows that the hard drive is, is working and it's going to be blinking really fast. Once you see that slow down or stop completely, then you know it's done deleting that file. At that point, once I've confirmed that it's been deleted, then normally what I do is I restart the PS3 um, and then come back to the file manager. So if you want to do that, you can go ahead and do that now. Uh, just delete again, only the PS3 extras folder. All right, so down in the description, I will put a link to um, either one of the two zip files that you want to use, either the GTA mods version 3.5, that's the standard edition or the textured edition. You guys should know the difference between the two. They are both pretty much exactly the same. The only difference is I think there's like three mod loaders that come with a bunch of textures in the textures edition. And then in the standard edition, those mod loaders are still there, but the textures have been removed. I'll be using the standard edition for the purpose of this tutorial uh, here today. So once you get the zip file you want, extract the folder to your desktop, and then you could do this either via you know USB or FTP, however you want. Once you've deleted the PS3 extra folder from the game folder, then you will come here to the folder you just got out of the zip file, go into the bless 01807 install folder, and then you will see the new PS3 extra folder there. You can then copy and paste it here to the game folder to replace the one you just deleted, or you can FTP it in. Now, the reason you just can't copy and paste over the one that already exists is because some of the old stuff may remain behind. The other reason is that while everything will show up, all the icons will be 
completely out of order. I'll show you what I mean later or, or just go over it. So you want everything to be nice and neat in order, then you have to do it this way. So once you've transferred this folder over to the game folder, if you're updating, you do not need to update the PS3 game folder or the PS3 disc one. Nothing has been updated in either one of these two, so you don't need to copy and paste them over. You can if you want, but nothing has changed from the older one. So go ahead and do that, and then let's move on to the next step. All right, so now the next step is fairly easy. We're gonna update the files uh, that go in the TMP folder. The first thing we are going to do is go back into the dev HDD zero directory. Then you will scroll down a bit and you should see the TMP folder right there. We'll go into it. Now you'll come here once again to this folder, go into the folder uh, that says files that go in TMP folder. There's two of them. One has a one and the other one has a two. Go into the number one folder and then copy uh, and paste everything here into the TMP folder of your PS3. Once you're done with that, go to the second one and copy that one key file that's there into the TMP uh, folder that's in your PS3. Again, you can copy and paste this via USB or you could do this uh, via FTP if you are asked to overwrite any files just hit yes and that's it now once you've done that part let's move on to the next step all right so now we're here at the ps3 if you want to update the gta tool uh, to a newer version if you haven't installed the easiest way to do this is naturally just to um, go to where the tool is and then just hit triangle and then delete. Now I'm not gonna do that here because you can see the newest version is installed, which is 3.5. But if you have an older version than 3.5, then delete it this way. Now, once you've done all of this stuff, you've replaced the PS3 extras folder, you've deleted the GTA tool, if you will be using webman mod in order to load the game i strongly suggest that you hit refresh xml in the webman mod setup so you will bring or you will go come over to the uh, webman setup and then hit refresh xml which is right up here now if you're webman looks different than this one it's kind of set up like the s man type deal you should see a box somewhere around here that says s man gui and it's check marked just uncheck mark it and then scroll all the way down to the bottom and hit save and then it'll ask you to reboot when you reboot and come back into webman it will have this um, old school layout, which I just like a lot better than the newer S Man GUI one. Anyway, that's just a suggestion. So once you've done all of that and you hit refresh XML, and the reason why you're doing that is because you need to update the files that you just changed in the XML. So once that's been accomplished, then you can go ahead and load the game, which I've already done. And you can see here when we go into it, um, that you have the new background and a couple of things have changed. So I'm not, again, I'm not gonna tell you how to use all this because this is just showing you how to update. It's assumed that you know how to use all of this stuff. The reason why we have to do it this way and you just can't copy and paste the PS3 extra folder over the one that's there is because then all of these icons will be out of sequence. See, you have all the mod loaders, then you have the Kex and Dex menus, and then you have just the Dex menus, and then after that you have some backgrounds. All of these things will just be all mixed up if you don't do it this way. Now, once you've um, also deleted the um, the uh, GTA tool, this is where you would install the newest one. All you have to do is press X here, and it will begin to install the latest uh, version 3.5 KMZ Ultra GTA tool. And that's it. Once it's installed, it will be located on your XMB here. And you have successfully updated everything, the tool and um, the mods to GTA. And that's it. That's all there is to it, guys. All right, guys. So that's pretty much it for this video. If this helped you out in any way, or you, know, you just want to show some love or appreciation to the channel, please make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. 
if you haven't already. The full new tutorial video of all this stuff will be coming out here shortly. At least that's the plan. You know I appreciate you guys watching. It's a crazy world out there, man. Make sure you are careful. Take care. Have fun. Much love going out to all of you. And we'll see you on the next one.